Hi guys, it's Kelly. Hey, I've had a great weekend with some time to get my scrap on. So I've got a few um, tags done from um, the journal thing that I'm doing. So I just want to share them with you. I finally woke up my Cricut Imagine. Um, I haven't used it in a long time. And um, I finally opened it up and the reason why I did is because I was thinking of the cartridge that had these two girls on it. This is the tag here. I'm going to show you just as I throw things around. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, this is the tag that I had done with, um, there's that foil in the background there that I used alcohol ink on, just different colors. And um, see it in the background there, right there. Um, and then it had that stream color, really pretty. So this is one of the tags I did the other day. I did a video on with the background. And I just thought that those are really cutesy, fun colors and thought that these two girls on there would, would look really good. And I'm really, I think it's super cute. So what I did was I just, I mean, I printed this out in my Cricut Imagine and popped up their hair. And then just used my black pen to kind of outline some things. It didn't print quite, quite right because... Um, and my Cricut Imagine has been asleep for a long time and it wasn't printing black. So I got to sit and clean the print heads about 700 times. But I just colored them in with um, my with a black pen for their eyelashes. I think they are so cute. And this is just a Prima Flower Center bling thing. And then this is, um, I just did besties with my cute little stamp set. I really like this little stamp set. They're just little minis and they're all individuals. You can spell out whatever you want. And I just put besties on a piece of vellum that I had. I had stained some vellum with some red ink. And, um, well, it turned kind of pink. Here's an extra piece that I had. So I just stamped it on vellum, just kind of weird, you know, off center just to be odd. And um, love it. I think it came out super cute. Hope you guys think so too. So, and then just some flowers up there with a few little bling pieces. And that's it. So I, you know, when I think of multimedia, I don't ever even consider my, my Cricut is, is part of that, but, um, there's a lot of really new ideas that I've come up with after re, um, waking up my Cricut machine. So I'm going to do some more of these cute ones. So I thought that was super cute. And then this one is so funny. This is the super hot pink here in the light. Hold on. <laughs> look how, look how pink that sucker is. That's nuts. So I'm just playing with it. Just doing some stamping, coloring, and shading of the flowers. Just see that blue one. Just figuring it out. So that one was fun. This one I showed you guys the other day. Just cute little butterfly on there. And some, again, just doing the shading and figuring out what works and what doesn't. Because this is all about experimenting and learning. And then this one here, this is one I want to show you guys. I really like this one. Um, let me get the glare out. Hopefully you guys can see that really good. Totally unique. I think it looks like a Ready? old vintage tag from like old, old luggage. I really like it. And here's what I did with this one. It's really cool. So I bought some curtain rods the other day and in there was this packaging. And it's just this really bubbly, foamy stuff. I know you've seen this before in all kinds of packaging that you get. But look at the texture on there and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna stamp with that sucker. And I did, and you can see that's exactly how it stamps. Isn't that cool? And it looks like tire marks to me. So I put it on here. I just used my archival ink and I just went like that, and then lined it up and went like that. And then I did it right here, and then I did it right here. And I thought it was super, super cool. And then these stamps, I've shown you guys these stamps before. These are stamps that I got from an antique store. Um, gosh, about a year ago, maybe almost a year. And I think I got both bags for like three bucks. They're two bucks a piece, but you know, I got them both for three. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, I don't know how old they are. They're, they're all foreign stamps and I just, they were completely unique and cool and real. I'm trying to wiggle it around real stamps. So I just thought that was pretty cool. And I haven't used them yet. And here I go. I just used them on this tag so you can probably hear them all my family downstairs but there we go 
And this, this stamping idea is just super cool. So save all your packaging because this is completely unique. And I did it just testing it out on a plain tag. I'll use this for something. I don't know what. But I'll use this for something. But that's how it turns out. So there you have it. Those are just a few tags that I've been doing and just want to do a quick video and show you guys that. I hope you like them. I'm quite pleased with them. This one is crazy to me, but this one is super cute. Makes me smile. All the pretty colors and their little faces. I thought it was super cute. Alright, thanks for watching. More to come.